not YouTube, Retro Prime, how goes it? Uh, sorry for the face, I've tried to start this video about a million times and I keep mucking up. Aye, we bought it at home coming up soon, and the fact I've got a few new subscribers. I thought I'd do an introduction video, because it's been so long since I've done anything like it, I thought, well, especially bought it at home coming up, there'll be loads of folk that'll watch that, hopefully, who won't know who I am, so... Just for the upcoming event, I thought I'd do a wee, uh, a wee introduction video. So I've got a few questions written down that I'm going to answer about myself. I'll try and keep it brief. I never can because I'm a waffler. Here we go. Well, I'm a fat, bald, bearded guy surrounded by toys and games, so that clearly indicates I'm in my 40s. Uh, I'm a man, for the most part. <laughs> And uh, if all the swearing and cans I had and brew that I drink during my videos doesn't give you any clues, I'm Scottish. Why did I start doing YouTube? It was mainly because my pals were doing it and I thought it looked fun. Uh, my friend MonkeySplaz5000, who does a lot of gaming and retro gaming videos, check out his channel, he's good. He um he was doing them and it kind of I was like, oh, I want to get involved in that, it looks fun. Then a wee while later on when I started working in Asda. <laughs> years ago now, God, how many years? Ten, something like that, if no more. I um, I met my friend John, and he was doing, Borders Dude, who's also in part of the Bots at Home experience, he was doing videos on YouTube, and he kind of sort of showed me, and we got, you know, we got talking about it, and that's where my sort of Transformer videos, kind of YouTube videos started, and it just grew from there. It started off as like, um, sort of collect, like pickups videos, like gaming pickups, and then, and then it went on from there, so it was, uh, it's kind of evolved over the years, and uh, for the better, I hope. Why did I start collecting? Now I've got two main, I, I do have bits and bobs about, but my main collections are gaming and transformers. And I've not really got a set, like, like I did just collect Masterpiece, and I did just collect Super Nintendo. Um, I just go for whatever I fancy. And um, with my gaming collection, I've kind of been gaming all, all my life. So I've just built it up for there. And with transformers, like I said, Transformers Prime was when, I, as an adult, transformers became part of my world again. And I um I seen some of the toys in the shops and it was characters I recognised like Optimus Prime and and uh, Bumblebee and Wheeljack and I was like oh I, I quite like these so I bought a couple, and then when I started working with Borders dude he gave me a couple of his birthday presents and it kind of went for there and progressed until it became at the, at the time I, I used to say I'd, I'm no collecting them I just buy a few, but now I'm surrounded by <laughs> over 600 Transformers so uh, I just it started there and it just exploded. <laughs> I've been collecting games all my life. I, I, a lot of my, game, my gaming stuff that I got when I was wee is gone now. I had a brother, I had a brother, I've got a brother, who when we were kids destroyed everything we had. So all my games consoles tended to get broken or, or just wasted and chucked in the bin. So while I have been a gamer all my life, my, my games collection's been built up over the years, but over the past eight years, when I started doing YouTube and stuff, that's when I really started bulking up with um, charity shop runs and looking at eBay and things like that. So. My gaming collection has been all my life. My Transformers collection, like I said, started around the Prime era, so is that about eight years as well? Just with then, that's when it kicked off. Um, did have Transformers as kids, but they they were in the bin long ago. My favourite Transformers show. You kind of beat Generation One, and I'm, I'm no apologising for that. Generation One's where it started for me. It's where it started for most people my age, and um, whether its quality is superior or inferior to what's come since, that's not what's important to me. It's nostalgia. It's the beginnings. It's the exciting characters. It's like nothing that came before, and uh, I love it. Favorite games console. It kind of changes. If you'd asked me last year, I probably would have said Super Nintendo. This year, I'd say PS2. PS2 was the console that stuck with me um, through thick and thin in my sort of early 20s through to when it became obsolete. Not that it has in my life because I still play it, but I so I don't know. Depends on my mood. But if you had a gun in my head, I'd say my favourite console is the Commodore 64. Oof. Now, favourite games, again, is something subjective. Depends how I feel and, and what kind of mood I'm in. But again, gun in my head, the three games I'd call my top games are Street Fighter 2, 
Dark Souls 1 and The Binding of Isaac. I quite like Fantasy World Dizzy as well. Oof. Now for me the community has been a massive part of enjoying Transformers as an adult because it's a way to share it, a way to share your experiences with people that are like-minded and stuff. Um, but like any community, it can be weirdly toxic and like self-flagellatory where people kind of browbeat each other for liking the things they like it's and themselves like oh i'm really like it's the transformers community it's weird the gaming community will buy shit that they don't like because it's rare or it's sought after so they'll buy a game for the nintendo that's worth like 100 quid even though it's crap but and i'm gonna burp pardon me but because it's like a, a rare item, they buy it, and I find that weird spending money on something that you don't enjoy. It's like a, it's like you enjoy owning it rather than what it is. That's weird. And then with the Transformers community, the amount of times I've seen people say this figure looks terrible, but I'm gonna buy it anyway, or they buy it and then moan it's as crap as they expected. It's like ah, stop buying things if you're not gonna like them. That's weird. You don't have to buy everything that's, that's that comes out. But. Then the flip side of that is I've met some, f the majority as well, fantastic people, funny people, generous people, caring people on both retro gaming and the Transformers communities um, that make like, the sh that are shining lights when you go on the internet and you're, you're checking through your forums and your Twitter and stuff, you see these people come up, you're like, oh, this is going to be fun, I'm going to have a laugh here. And uh, so, 25% negativity through the communities, 75% positivity, and I love being part of them. The wee caveat on that is though, I have quite a few sort of anxiety issues, so I tend not to make friends easily. <laughs> it's easy talking to a camera, but when it comes to talking to real people, I freak out. And um, I'm very uh, almost standoffish when you meet me. But if you ever do, I'm not like that at all. I try and be as open and as personal as possible, but I know I always come across like that. So, what do I get out of my hobbies? The weird thing is. I've watched collect Transformers most of my life because I love Transformers. Love, love, love Transformers. Always have done. Gaming, because it never it never finished and it was I just was gaming all through my life, that didn't really feel like I was collecting until I was, if that makes sense. So it didn't really feel like a hobby, it just felt like something I did. Uh, whereas now it's like a it's a sit down spare time. I'm a parent, I'm a husband, you know, I'm a carer. So I have responsibilities, so now my, my time for gaming and Transformers is, is elected, is selected. So it feels more like a thing rather than just, oh, I can't be bored, I'll put the computer on. And uh, what I get out of my hobbies now is escapism. That's what hobbies should be for, enjoyment. Um, I tend not to be negative about my hobbies. I try not to be. I mean, if I am ever, it's because life's been really hard and you kind of that's just a, your, your mood can affect your enjoyment of your hobbies that's the same way every hobby no no uh, even gaming or transformers that can be anything but when i have been going through some hard times my hobbies have really kept me afloat because it's a thing that, that that's me and the thing was and i talked about this with a pal recently i never really until i met my wife i was never confident enough to be a full-blown fuck it I'm doing YouTube I'm doing pickups videos all this kind of stuff collector I just kind of did stuff and I wasn't really enthusiastic about anything but she made me enthusiastic about stuff and she said well if you want to... I, do you know what I remember the first time it, it, this is the waffly part you know I said to keep it brief I remember the first time we were, we'd only been together a few months we we're sitting in the pub it was a Saturday night we were playing pool and just chilling out and stuff and I was talking about how I've, I've what an Amiga for age and she's like well just buy one then I was like, well, no, because it means going on eBay and looking and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, well, you've got the money, just go and do it. And I was like, oh, that's a hassle. Two minutes later, right, I've ordered you an Amiga. And I'm like, well? And she's like, if you want something and it's something you'll enjoy, just go for it. Just order it. If you've got the money, why no? But it's my mindset before would always be, no, nah, I'm not ordering it. Blah, blah, blah. And then when it came to Transformers, she would like, she supported that as well. And then, then it got to the point where I was so confident about myself because of her. That I was just like, okay, I'm doing YouTube, I don't care. I know people look, look at me... 40, you know, bearded, baldy guy with a cap on saying, hey there, fellow children, or whatever the meme is. I know they look at me and go, God, that's, look at that sad when he's 40s collecting toys. I don't give two fucks. <laughs> and that's a lesson that everyone should learn. Don't care what anyone else thinks about you. As long as you're not hurting anybody else or yourself, just enjoy yourself and they should, they can fuck off. Um, and once I was com comfortable with myself and confident collecting, 
I enjoyed it. And it's just like, this is my room. You can, you'll not really see it because it's the, my camera shite. You can see it right there, which is that. But like, I've got all my consoles here. I've got loads of Transformers there, loads of Transformers up there, loads behind me. It's a big sofa there with my, my guitar in it. I've got my, my old 50 year old CRT tellies in here with the spectrum plugged in it. I come into this room at night. My kid's in bed. My house is tidy. I sit my arse down and then I feel like I can just go. <sighs> right, what am I going to do? Am I going to play some Amiga? Will I take some photos? Will I do a video for YouTube? And it's fantastic. It really does help me get through the day <laughs> sometimes. And uh, yeah, that's the way it should be with your hobbies. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be a sort of hassle. You shouldn't be a pressure. Uh, I mean, I'm, there must be people out there who feel pressured to keep, especially Transformers, because it's that much coming out over and over. Bye, 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 and keep up with everybody. Um, uh, thankfully, I'm not like that. Thank God. Um, so it's like this is my space this is me this is my head sort of reaching out to a reality and sort of projecting itself into every in physical form and it just it makes me happy <laughs> so why do why do, do i get my hobbies uh fun there you go um so if you've heard if you haven't heard about bots at home check it out if you have please watch um it is at the end of the day for charity first and foremost but secondly it's gonna be fun and it's community based, which is it's you know it's good as well. It's us lads and lasses getting together and just being like, hey, we love Transformers. Ah, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. So yeah, <laughs> I hope that enlightens you as to who I am. Aish. <laughs>